probably should only take you a couple of minutes to make as well. First thing to do is to cut off some of your snood line. This is 30 pound amnesia that we're using. You want about a foot of this amnesia line. And then you just want to tie a hook on one end. And trim it and on the other end of that you're going to put your swivel four turns is normally yeah, enough on this 30 pound line trim that okay put that to one side that snood and then all I've done for this next bit is taken about a meter of 60 pound line so obviously slightly thicker than your snood line there and then one end of this you're going to tie your lead clip and then threading up to that you're going to put on uh, one crimp I'm using these slightly oversized black beads here uh, but you can use you can use aero beads for this as well um, and it's the same for this swivel which is going to go on to the assembly next uh, it's slightly bigger than it needs to be this but obviously you want beads and uh, the swivels that clamp that on and then after the swivel you're going to put another bead on so the assembly at the top of that will look like that with the, the crimp bead swivel and then the bead there. Now the next item that you could put on there are the adjustable crimps. I think Gem and I do them. But there's some adjustable crimps that will slide up and down here. We're going to find out why we need to do that in a minute. Uh, but what we're going to do for this one is we're going to use power gum. I like this power gum. You're going to tie the power gum onto that line there. A bit easier with this black background. So um, we have got a video uh, how to tie this knot if you don't know how to do it that's that one there and we'll put that up at the end as well so tend to do four turns round four or five turns round and you loop back on yourself um, I like to moisten this knot as well I'm not going to show that on the camera but if you moisten it the knot works quite well and then you pull the two sort of tail ends like that and then that'll tighten up nicely quite a bit of waste you can be quite frugal with this if you're a bit neater than I've been here but okay so that top assembly then has got the crimp the bead the swivel bead and then that power gum stop knot on that swivel in a minute we're going to tie another hook snood but we want to go back down to the other end of this yellow main line the 50 pound line uh, which we haven't tied yet and onto that we're going to thread on this lead clip and that's going to be running along there in a minute. I'll show you that in a second. All the way down. You can put a bead either side of that running lead clip here. Uh, I'll put one on the bottom just to stop the weight. So this is the swivel in my left hand side. That's the one that we've tied with the hook snood. So we're going to tie that one onto there. Like that. Again, always moisten the knots. There we go, we're almost there. So, looks a mess here, but if you look on the diagram, you can see the only thing we need to add to this is another hook snood onto this swivel here between the beads. You want to make this snood the same length as the other snood. Now, there is a way to get the hook snoods exactly the same length. That's in that video there. I'll show that at the end. And have a look at that we're using two o hooks the disadvantage of this is it won't take a really 
big powerful cast but for medium distance and sort of less powerful casts uh, it's a great rig you've got the weight where you'd use a, a grip lead or breakaway that runs along this yellow line so that the fish here if the fish is taking this one it's more inclined to take it and, and less likely to feel the weight I think that's the idea of this rig really um, and then obviously you've got two hooks as well and the one at the top will work slightly differently that's going to be attached to your main line and that fish will be able to take that part of the bait and pull it all the way down with that power gum being able to move down the line there we go nice simple rig uh, give it a go if you've tried it before then let us know that would be great to hear from you thank you very much to everyone that's subscribed recently we've had lots of new subscribers